I uh, had the last uh, couple of days, I've had a chance to be able to go out and talk to as many people as I possibly could about my desire to be able to appear here before the Senate, the Senate trial, and have a chance to be able to tell the whole story, have every single witness I could possibly bring be able to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, present as much evidence as available to be able to have the whole story told, and have a chance to be able to show you here in the Senate, show the people of Illinois, and show anybody else who's listening that I have done absolutely nothing wrong, that I followed every law, that I never, ever intended to violate any law, and that when the whole truth is heard and the whole story is told, that's ultimately what will be shown. I was hopeful that I'd have a chance to be able to do that in a Senate hearing, in this trial, a chance to be able to bring witnesses in, a whole list of witnesses, every single witness in the criminal complaint. Would it be nice to have them here so they can tell the truth and tell you under oath what they know? I wanted to be able to bring in witnesses from Rahm Emanuel, the President's Chief of Staff, to Senator Dick Durbin, to Senator Harry Reid and Bob Menendez, to every single person connected with any conversation I may have had in relation to picking a United States Senator. Unfortunately, these rules have prevented me from being able to do that. And in spite of efforts to try to get you to give me that chance to do it, it didn't work. So I went to the people, talked to as many people as I possibly could, and I was over and over repeating to them, just give me a chance to be able to let the truth come out. So sooner rather than later, I can show you I've done nothing wrong. So sooner rather than later, I can clear my name and we can put this behind us and get on with working to do things for people. But how can you throw a governor out of office on a criminal complaint and you haven't been able to show or prove any criminal activity? How can you throw a governor elected twice by the people out of office when the rules don't even require that you prove up elements of criminal allegations? And more than that, how can you throw a governor out of office who is clamoring and begging and pleading with you to give him a chance to bring witnesses in to prove his innocence, to do more than just ask for a presumption of innocence? Don't even give me that. Let me make my case. Let me bring my witnesses in. Let me show you that I'm innocent and I didn't do anything wrong. 